Another thing that can be tough to figure out, the behavior of our pets. So what are we doing about it? Trying to see the world through their furry little eyes. As Ariel Wessler explains, pet cams, they're what's trending. Whether it's dogs racing toward the beach, or an eagle giving us a bird's eye view of Paris, tiny digital cameras have soared in popularity. Get this, GoPro made $985 million last year. A decade ago, they were bringing in just 150,000, and they're not stopping. Fetch, the first GoPro mount made just for dogs. Yep, no need to jerry-rig your own device anymore. Fido and friends can now easily shoot their own footage. If you, in fact, put the camera on the animal and let them roam, then you can kind of see where they went and what they did. Oh. Chris Keeney is a professional photographer and author of the book Pet Cam, The World Through the Lens of Our Four-Legged Friends. His newly released book features 20 critters, including cats, dogs, chickens, cows, pigs, goats. <laughs> okay, okay, hold on. We tried to get a skunk. The skunk didn't make the book because uh, we had complications. People have been using GoPros for years, but put a GoPro on a pet and you see the world from a whole new perspective. So I set out with a dachshund named Hans. First, we went on a little hike. Then to the dog park. Turns out Hans was more like Ansel Adams, the famous landscape photographer. So if you want to strap a camera to your own pet, Keeney has some tips. First, choose the right size camera. Start the camera before you attach it to your pet. Go to places with lots of activity, like a dog park or the beach, and be prepared to answer questions. He hopes to be a future photographer. It's a great conversation piece. People say, what is that on your, on your, on your dog there? And I say, oh, it's a camera, and they just they love it. Animals behind the aperture, it's what's trending. <laughs>